Hi, I'm Steve Sobeck. This is lesson number six on a, in a series of lessons on how to use the TID4 graphing calculator. The focus of this lesson is to show you how to use this calculator to do some basic statistics. For example, here we have 13 students who have taken a 10 point quiz. Here are their 13 quiz scores. We would like to find the mean the median, the mode, and a standard deviation for these quiz scores. Now this lesson is for those students who've already studied statistics. They're familiar with these terms. They've already used pencil and paper to do these calculations. You know, of course the standard deviation, this would take, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes or more to do this with paper and pencil. But we would like to now show you how to use a calculator to do what you've already done with paper and pencil. All right. I'm not, my purpose here is not to teach, teach you statistics. It's just to show you how to use the calculator to do what you've already done by hand. All right. Now the mean is, uh, is the average. You just add these up and divide by, uh, thir in this case, 13, the number of data values. The, the median would be the data value that's in the middle if the data values are arranged in order, which they are. There's 13 of them. So the seventh one would be the one in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so this would be the median in this case. By the way, if you have a an even number of data values, then, the, then there's no data value exactly in the middle. For example, if we if there was another student who got a perfect score, one more add one more 10, would have 14 scores, and the 6 and the 8 would both be equally in the middle. Those are the two closest to the middle. The median would be the average of those two. 6 plus 8 divided by 2, or 7, would be the median if you added another high uh, test score. Okay, so in this case, we have 6. We could go ahead and even write in the, the median here. It is 6. The mode is the most frequently occurring data value. With such a small data set, it's very easy, easily to ascertain the, uh, that the 8 is the most frequently occurring data value. It occurs three times. The 9 occurs twice. The 2 occurs twice. The 5 occurs twice. Nobody beats the 8 three times. Okay, so that would be the mode. Uh, it's possible to have more than one mode, by the way. If you had one more 2, then the 2 and the 8 would both be modes. Uh, but as it is, 8 is the mode of this data set. And uh, uh, the standard deviation, we use this lowercase uh, Greek symbol, sigma, to denote the standard deviation. And this is the formula. Basically, in words, this, the standard deviation is the square root of the average of the squares of the deviations of the data values from the mean. <laughs> right, that's a, quite a mouthful. Um, you know, so n is the number of data values, so that's why we're defining the average. We add a bunch of stuff up and divide by 13. And uh, this uppercase Greek symbol sigma is our summation symbol. So if i uh, goes from 1 to n, it means that uh, x sub 1 represents the first data value. x sub 10 uh, represents the tenth data value. x sub 13 would be the last data value, which would be a 10. All right? And x bar is how we denote the mean, or the average. And of course, we're, we're finding the difference between each data value and the, the mean, squaring those, then adding them all together, and that's what this summation symbol means, and dividing by 13, the number of data values, and taking the square root of that result. All right, that, that would take a long time with paper and pencil. All right, you'll be real pleased to see how easy this is on a T84 calculator. All right, we need to first type in these data values into uh, a list. And so to do that, we're going to come over here and first of all, click the Stat button. It's located right here beneath the de Delete button. We wish to edit that list, 
make changes to the list. All right, so we're going to choose number one. So hit number one. And our cursor is already in position in list number one. If you already have some data values in here, uh, you know, suppose you, you had some, some, some data values already, then you could just uh, use your up arrow key, highlight the first one, and uh, hit delete to clear out the uh, existing data values. Uh, if you had a lot of data values, there's a faster way I'll, to delete them. I'll show you that uh, a little bit later on. All right, so the data values would be 1, enter, 2, 2, 4, 5, 5, 6, 8, 8, another 8, 9, another 9, and finally, the, the top score was 10. All right, now the cursor here is now waiting for data value 14, and that's, uh, again, a, a affirmation to us that we've already typed in 13, which is how many students there were in the class. So we're good with, uh, if you, sometimes if you, if you skip one, looking at this number will, will help you catch your mistake. All right, now to do the calculation, we're going to hit the Stat button again. This time we wish to calculate some statistics. And so we're going to hit the right arrow key right here one time to highlight the word calculate. And we're going to do one variable statistics. Choose number one. Hit uh, one or enter. And uh, with the, the most recent models of the TI-84 calculator, there's uh, some extra information that you can look at to make sure that it's getting the, the statistics on the correct list. It actually displays that it is planning to use list one. And if you have your data in another list, maybe it's sitting over there in list four, you get a whole bunch of lists then you would have to change this to list four. And list four, notice that there's a blue L4 right above the, the, the key four. You would have to hit second L4 to uh, uh, change your list to list four. Now, my data is not in list four, so I'm going to go back up and hit second list one. With the old TI-84 calculators, It'll default to list list one, but but if you want to uh, you know type list one, hit second list one, you know uh, after the step, it'll look way different than this. It, it wouldn't hurt, okay? And then uh, we want to uh, we're not using any other lists, so we're gonna, we're going to now highlight the word calculate and hit enter. And here's all of the results of that calculation. X bar denotes the mean. So you could write that down for the mean or the, the average, five point, it's around to two decimal places, 5.92. And uh, this is the sum of your data values. Here's the sum of the squares of your data values. Um, here's your, your sampling variance, very similar to the, the standard deviation, uh, ex except uh, if your data values represent just a sampling of a larger population, then then this formula is very similar to the standard. It's often called the standard deviation, um, a sampling standard deviation, and it's instead of dividing by n the number of data values, you're dividing by n minus one. Um, that's called Basil's correction. I never understood why they do that with sampling standard deviations, but typically in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, you're not going to ever deal with this. Always look for that lowercase sigma right here. This is your standard deviation. Write that down, 2.89. N is the number of data values, and here 1 is the lowest test score. 
And notice there's a, a done arrow key here indicating that there, there's more below. If you hit your done arrow key several times, then you'll see what's done below. And uh, it's showing the, the first quartile, which is real handy if you're, if you're drawing a box and whisker graph. But we're not doing that. Uh, but MED is the median. We did want that, so go ahead and write that down for your median. Uh, we, we could ignore the third quartile for right now. And the highest test score was a 10 out of 10. All right, so um, let's go back and write that down. There we go. There's our, there's our answers. And you notice that uh, that could be done pretty fast. All right. And so hopefully you'll you appreciate the, how to do one variable statistics using the TI-D4 calculator. Now, when you have more data values than this, I want to show you one more trick. So we're going to look at one more example with a larger data set. And I think you'll, you'll appreciate um, seeing this maneuver that we're going to pull off on the next, next example. All right, here's example number two. This time we have many students taking this 10-point quiz. Look at this. We've got uh, three students who scored a four. We've got five students who scored a five. We've got seven students who scored a six. We've got 11 students who scored an eight. We have six students who scored a nine. And we have two students who scored a ten. You might be looking at that and saying, wow, that's going to be cumbersome to have to type in all these data values. Well, the good news is you don't have to. All right, pick up your calculator and take along with me, and I think you'll, I think you'll like what, what you're going to see. Over here on the calculator, we're going to click on the Stat button again. And we're going to Edit, choose number 1. And tell you what, let me just show you how to clear out an entire list rather than hitting the delete key so many times. Hit your up arrow key so that the name of the list is highlighted. Hit the clear button and then hit enter. And that is a quick way. I mean, you might, in some situations, you, you might have hundreds of values in that list. And it's, that's certainly a faster way to clear the list. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to type each of those data values once. So we had a, we had a people score a 4. We're just going to type a 4 once. We had a 5, 6. No one scored a 7. We had a whole bunch score an 8. And then we had a, a 9. And we had a couple score a 10. These are the different data values. We're going to hit the right arrow key to move into list 2. And we're going to designate list 2 as the frequency list. Frequency list meaning these will be the number of times that that data value ap appeared. You recall we had three students who scored a 4. So we're going to type a 3 adjacent to the 4. Then we had five students who scored a 5. Seven students who scored a 6. We had 11 students who scored an 8. And we had 6 students score a 9. And 2 students who scored a 10. Alright, now everything is, is set. Now will the calculator automatically look at this and say, well, these are the data values and, and list 2 must be the frequency. Well, maybe, maybe not. But we're going to make sure that it does. We're going to be on the alert. And um, with the newest calculators, it's easier to be alert with that. The older TI-84s requires additional caution. All right, let's hit the Stat button. Let's highlight Calculate with one, the right arrow key one time. Hit number one, one variable statistics. And list one is designated as the, the data list. All right. And look at this. It did not pick up on the fact that 
list two was the frequency list. And it, why should it, you know? I mean, you, you could have numbers in lists two, three, and four, you know, for other purposes. And so it, it doesn't automatically think that's a frequency list. We have to tell it that list two is the frequency list. Uh, let's accept list one as the data list. And, and now that we're cursor is blinking beside the frequency list, we want to... Um, See, list 2 is right above the number 2, and it's blue. So you have to hit the blue second key, and then hit number 2, and look, L sub 2, which means list 2, will be now interpreted as the frequency list. Hit the down arrow key to highlight Calculate. Hit Enter. And write these values down. We've got a, a mean. 7.08, 7.088, I guess we could run that to 7.09. And let's see, we wanted, to, oh, there's 34 data values, all right. Um, let's, uh, oh, the standard deviation is 1.77. And we'll hit, have to hit the down arrow key to get to the median. And the median is 8. All right, so let's uh, go back to the home screen and type those values in. Here we go. 7.09 for the mean. Median is 8. Mode is 8. Standard deviation, 1.77. Well, that's it for example 2. Now, there's a lot more that we could say about statistics on this calculator. Um, there's some uh, neat stat plot features and uh, linear regressions and quadratic regressions, curve fitting, finding functions that model data. Uh, these are all neat things that I'm not going to take time to do right now. I'd like to just do two more videos in this series, uh, both of them dealing with programming on a TI-84 calculator. I will not be assuming any previous programming exposure and so I think you'll find it a good introduction and I think you'll find it very useful and so I hope that you come back and, and watch my next two videos. Then I'm going to wrap up the series and I have uh, other parts of the website that I need to uh, work on. But uh, thanks for joining me today as we uh, touched on basic statistics.